Hello and welcome to this video for Excel Chapter 3 Practice Exercise Number 2. We are on page 588 of your textbook, 588. Um, so you can turn there as I read the information for it. So trends in market value houses on Pine Circle. You live in a house on Pine Circle, a quiet cul-de-sac in a suburban, suburban area, and recently you researched the market value and square footage of the five houses in Pine Circle. Now you want to create charts to visually depict the data to compare values for the houses in the cul-de-sac. So refer to figure 5, or excuse me, 3.5 as you complete this exercise. And that is over on page 589. So step number one, or step A, excuse me, is to open up this file right here, chapter 3, practice exercise 2 pine, and we're going to save it with our last name and first name. So save as, browse. You, of course, are choosing where you need to save it, which is your flash drive. Um, mine has a one there because this is a copy, so I just get rid of it. And then put underscore, last name, first name, and save. Step B, uh, select range A2 through G7. Select range A2 through G7. So it looks like this. And then we're going to move our mouse over the cells, the range there, because we're going to click Quick Analysis. We're going to choose Charts. And then we're going to choose Line right here. So Line. Step C, it says Move Chart. So we're going to click Move Chart in the Location Group. That's up here. So Chart Tools, Design Tab, and Move Chart over here in the Location Group. It says we need to select New Sheet. And for the name, we are changing the new sheet uh, to line and then we're going to click OK. So create our new sheet and moved it over here. Then step D it says select the chart title placeholder. So up here chart title and we're going to do the following. It says type market value of pine circle houses. So you can see what I'm typing right here. Market value pine circle houses push enter and it changed the title over here and then it says apply bold so I'm going to do control B so apply bold we're going to change the font size so I'm going to go to the home tab and then crank it up to 20 and then it says select olive green accent 3 for darker 50 percent for the font color so I click on the arrow next here font color go to olive green right here accent 3 and it says 50 percent darker which should be I believe this one right here alright then the next thing it says we need to do is step E click the value axis the value axis which you can see right here this is the vertical value axis over here and it says to do the following it says change font size to 12 so currently it's 9 so I'm going to put up to 12. And then it says uh, select olive green, accent 3, dark 50%. So I'm going to click on the button here, and it changes it for me. Then it says double click the value axis to open the format axis task pane. So I come back over here. I'll double click, and it opens up the format axis over here. Then it says type 300,000 in the minimum bonds or bounds box. So right here, here's minimum. It's set to 0, 0.0 right now. So 300000. Zero, 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 zero. So 300,000. I'm going to press enter. And of course, it changes how my chart looks. The maximum bounds box should actually be changed to 700,000 automatically, which it did. Then it says scroll down in the format axis pane and click number to display those options. Format access pane and then down here number. So I click that. It now displays. It says click the category arrow. So category right here. The arrow is down here. I click on that. And it says select currency. So I'm going to go up here to currency. Click on that. And then it says to close the format access pane. Now it looks like this. Step F, it says click chart elements. So chart elements, it actually is already clicked up here. Um, and then it says click axis titles tri um, triangle. 
So there's no triangle here. Is it talking about the arrow? Yeah, so um, click the arrow, they call it a triangle, and then click primary vertical checkbox to select it. So I click the arrow over here, primary vertical. And then it says type December market values in the axis title placeholder and press enter. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on this. I'm actually just going to click. You can either click in there and delete it. I'm going to click once here and I'll start typing. So primary minor. Oh, let me try it again. It says type December market values. So December market values. So you can see it's showing up here. I push enter and it changes down here. December market values. And it changes when I push enter. Step G, it says make sure the chart elements menu is showing. So I'm going to go over here to chart elements. I'm going to click on that again. And it says click the grid lines triangle, which is really the arrow. So over here, grid lines triangle. And then click the primary major horizontal checkbox to select it. Oh, excuse me, primary minor. So right now this one's already selected. We want to select this one, primary minor horizontal checkbox. All right, step eight, it says click the blue 1109 Pine Data series line. That's down here, so, or excuse me, um, it's, we can see here it's the darker blue one. So I'm going to click on it. So I just clicked on it, and you can see it's selected with the points here. So 1109 Pine Data series line. And it's click the data labels checkboxes to select it. So I'm going to move up here. Click the data labels checkbox. So now our data labels are showing for that one. And it says click the chart elements to close the menu. So now it looks like this. Then step I, it says click the data labels you just created. So I'm going to click on this one and it selects all of them. And then it says click the home tab. It says click the font color arrow and then select blue in the standard colors. So I click the font color arrow, go down to standard colors and go for this is blue right here then step J it says select the category axis so this is the value axis over here so category should be right here so horizontal and it says change the font size to 12 so I'm going up here changing that to 12 and then it also says select olive green accent 3 darker 50% so right here. Then step K, it says right click the legend. So down here, this is the legend. Right click it. And that says select format or select format legend, which is here. And of course it brings up that task pane. It says click top in the legend position section of the format legend task pane. So I'm clicking top over here. You can see it's switched up here to the top. All right, step L, we're going through these here very quickly. Step L, it says click the Pine Circle Sheet tab. So down here, we're clicking on the Worksheet tab. And it's going to take us back here. Select ranges A2 through A7. So A2 through A7. And then it says G2 through H7. So I'm going to hold down Control and select G2 through H7. I have the appropriate cell selected. I'm going to jump to the next page on 590. 590. Step M, it says click the insert tab, click insert combo chart. So I'm going to go over here. You may have to hover over the different ones. Insert combo chart is right here. Click on that and it says then click cluster column line on secondary axis thumbnail. We'll see if I can see with the magnifier let me get rid of my magnifier here for just a second so I can make sure I get the right thing so clustered and it says line on secondary axis thumbnail for me it's the middle one but it's the line on secondary axis thumbnail I'll bring my magnifier back up then step N it says to do the following move and resize the chart to fill the ranges a10 through H25. So I'm going to move it down here to A10, which is right here. If I can get it right, you may have to zoom in to make it a little easier. So A10 through H25. 
So I gotta go down a little bit more. It looks like we need to fill it to about here. So A10 through H25. Then it says select the chart title placeholder. So up here, chart title placeholder, and you're gonna type in 2017 market value and square footage. 2017 market value and square footage, and then press enter. Then it says double click the value axis along the left side. So if you hover over it, it'll say value axis. Double click it, it's going to bring it up in the task pane. And we're going to click, uh, it says scroll down in the format task. Oh, let me try it again. I double click on the left side, I scroll down in the format, format axis pane and click number. Let's see here, I may have to go to one of these other options. Oh, here we go. So you're going to have to click on axis options. So I double clicked and it didn't come up, um, but it should normally. I'm going to select number and then I'm going to choose from the category arrow. So where it says custom, I'm going to switch it to currency. Then it says click chart elements. So that's this plus sign over here next to our chart. And it says click the axis titles triangle. It's that arrow that comes up over here. And then it says click the secondary vertical checkbox. So secondary vertical checkbox. And then it says type square footage and press enter. So square footage and then push enter. So you can see it changed it down here, that title that I just added. And then close the format axis title pane. So over here it should have changed that. Then step O, it says select the range B3 through G7. So I'm going to select B3 through G7. B3 through G7, it looks like that. And then it says click the insert tab. This is step O, by the way, if I didn't say that. And it says click column in the spark lines group. So I actually went to the wrong group. Column right here, spark lines group. And make sure B3 through G7 is in the range, data range box. And then it says to type in for the location range I3 colon I3. Seven. So I3 colon I7 and then click OK. And it's created my spark lines there. Step P, it says we need to customize the spark lines by doing the following. It says click more in the styles group. I'm going to give her my magnifier here so I can see what I'm doing next. Click more. And it says select spark line style accent 6 darker 25%. So this is accent 6 darker 50 darker 25 so right up here is the one I need I click on that I'll bring my magnifier back up then uh, it says here click last point in the show group so up here is my show group I'm still in sparkline tools design tab and it says click last point so high low last points right here and you can see last point looks different then step Q, it says create a footer with the name on the left side. So I'm going to go to page layout tab. I'm going to go to the page setup group and click the dialog box launcher. I go to the header and footer tab. And of course I click custom footer. And we're doing the same thing like we normally do name on left side. And then it says for the sheet name code in the middle. So right here. And then for the right side, we do file name there. Oh, you know what? And it needs to be on the both sheets. So what I need to do is I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK again. I actually need to do it on line. You could have grouped them together by holding down Control and clicking them, but I had to click on the line worksheet tab and do the same thing. So I didn't read the full instruction, so I'm going to have to do it this way, which it works out just fine. It'll still get the same result. It's just one step extra. Oh, let me try that again. All right, so you should have it for both of the worksheets, for line and pine circle. You could have grouped them together to do it. And then, of course, you save and close the file and submit it. So this is with the line.
um, worksheet looks like. It has our chart. It has this formatting to it. You can see the data labels um, for the 1109 pine. And then, of course, we have our pine circle page as well. You can see the chart. There are the spark lines also there. So make sure you have all those things correct. Go through and look. I'm, that's why I'm showing it to you in the video. Um, and, of course, that is how you complete Excel Chapter 3, Practice Exercise Number 2.